I think that's it for the the gentle introduction. I want to talk about the silver because I know a lot of you probably bought coins. And uh, what happened is the I, I have a th what's called a three PL. A three PL is a logistics group that handles the last leg of production. So basically, um, for a lot, of, what a lot of people do is they like they just like when they okay if you're like an epic gamer right and you're an epic gamer and you want to sell all your little Fortnite kitties like an epic gamer wear you can buy from Shen, from Shenzhen where they bought that fucking urn to put uh, to pretend you died with you can buy from there like gamer chairs and they'll customize it to have your logo and then you can send those from the shipping center in Shenzhen to your 3PL company in the US and then they'll handle the orders and send them out to the people who bought them. So what I did is I, I bought the coins from a place in Asia. I sent them to my 3PL, but the 3PL erroneously imported the orders. The orders, um, like for instance, when the order is made, it creates a little docket that has the order information. A lot of people, because of the site being janky, place multiple orders, which is no problem. I can just cancel duplicate orders, no issue whatsoever. A lot of people moved. No issue. I can change your address. Not anymore because the it's too fucking late. You should have got your address changed in at any time in the last half year. But in general, no issue. So I import these into the 3PL and they don't update. I tried to sync them to update the orders with the new addresses and so that ones that were canceled were taken out. Didn't happen. Uh, I asked them by email weeks ago to make sure that the orders are canceled. I did not find a way to do this via the thing. I sent them a list of the completed final list of orders. And I said, this is the final list of orders. Please clear my orders and re-import these because the ones on your site are fucking broken. They did not do that. So then a day before the box was set to arrive, I said, please make sure the orders do not go out until you have done this because they are wrong. And they did not do that. So there were many orders that were duplicates. People paid for one coin, accidentally ordered four. The other three got canceled. The 3PL has sent that person four coins. Many such cases. Very sad, right? So I emailed them and I'm telling them, like, you've completely fucked me over if this is the case. Like, these are expensive people. And it, like, for instance, in that instance, a guy orders one coin, four get sent to him. It's not just I've lost, you know, however much money it costs to create those those three coins. It's not that I've lost the money to ship it to him. I've also lost four people, you know, three other people's orders who no longer have the inventory to fulfill their orders, which means I have to refund them. So that's, you know, $50 plus shipping per order. And it's like you, you've completely and totally fucked up everything by doing this. You know, that's a lot of money that has to be refunded. So I'm talking to them and they're going to issue me like refund labels for the people who received multiple coins so that they can send them back. And I don't think that every single person who got multiple ones are going to send them back. I'm sure many of them will. Uh, but what I'm going to do is because they're still in production, I'm going to order enough to cover all the people who have had theirs sent out you know, so that everyone gets a coin. There will be some loss. I'll have to eat the loss. And if some come in and I have extra, I'll just sell those on top of it. And it won't be as big of an issue as it would be if they just went out completely wrong and nothing was done to accommodate it. So hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I'm still waiting for their reply. I got I got elevated to the tier two support specialist. So I was on tier one where all they can do is send me, you know, copy paste of their help documentation until I tell them you have really fucked up. This could be $10,000 of damage because you fucked up. And then they upgrade me to the tier two person who is someone who can issue me like refund shipping labels and stuff. Uh, and issue me credit, so that's good. Maybe maybe they can help. Um, I'm not holding my breath. I'm probably going to lose some money because of it. It won't make the entire run a complete waste, but uh, it would be extremely irritating right now to lose money because I'm uh, still fighting Melinda Scott in appeals, and I'm deciding if I'm going to have to press her for, for money just so I can keep her busy uh, instead of filing more frivolous fucking lawsuits. I can send someone to collect debt after her. Really... Really just annoying. And it's an American company. They're from fucking Illinois. They have no excuse. It's not like I was talking to, to Pajit, Amir, uh, you know, whatever the fuck. Pajit shit in the street from 
uh, new what's a, what's a funny place in in there's like a, a poo India. He's not yeah he's not Pajit shit in the street. Uh, Amir from from Poo India. He's like a guy from Illinois. So they really have no excuse to to fuck up this bad like they did. I'm very frustrated. And anyway, it's especially disappointing because I was really hoping that the logistics shit would just work. Because if it just fucking worked, then I would have a three PL that I could rely on, and I could just do as much merchant. I could just do you know the thing that people do when they merchandise. You buy the fucking merchandise, you send it to three PL, they hold the inventory, and then they send it to people when they buy it. Like that's. That's like a legitimate business model. It would be nice to have that sorted, but of course nothing ever fucking works because nothing ever fucking works. I am cursed. I run a drama forum, so I have like negative six luck. I roll my dice, you know, and I get a negative three applied. The best I can hope for is a three, but usually I'm rolling a zero or below. That's just that's just how it goes. Really, really frustrating. Uh, wait, wait, here. Here. I can remind myself about about what feels good. This this will be half the people who order their coins one day. They'll have their own coins to clink to relieve stress. Um, no, but, but for real, I'm gonna make sure that everyone gets what they paid for, um, so they don't have to issue refunds. It would be it, like I, I thought about it overnight. I was very frustrated. It kept me up a bit. And I thought you know it's probably easier just to fill the back order, create extra inventory, make sure that everyone gets what they paid for. Um, that would be less expensive than issuing full refunds. So everyone gets what they paid for, no matter what. So help, so help me God. I already have the I have the new Life is Strange game, but I'm currently in a crisis of mind, and I do not have. I need a certain level of mental fortitude built up to handle Life is Strange. That game is like six fucking hours. It's like six hours of being dragged behind a Prius down the streets of Portland by two genderqueer teenagers. And it's like, I'm not quite in a, a level of, of sanity and stability to handle that at the moment. I need some time to prepare myself before I, I commit to it. So, uh. Anyways. It, it sucks. Oh my! I'm so not used to having uh, the chat on um, on normal latency. I need I need my instant feedback. I need people talking about what I'm talking about as soon as I say it. It doesn't help that you can't solve puzzles. When it, it's really you know it's hard to like do a stream and focus on a game at the same time because your mind like your brain's not multi-threaded. You can't dedicate core two to chat and core one to the video game. It's it, you're flipping between them, and it really distracts you and fucks up your thinking. Because otherwise, you just sit there and play the game and you're boring as fuck. Uh, but yeah, that's the silver update. Uh, I'm really sorry. The shirts are still doing fine. I I know the guy who makes those and he handles the shipping himself, so there's no fucking issue. He, he's pretty expensive because he does it all himself. And but uh, I've never had an issue with him sending stuff. The only issue with him is that because he's just like a guy who prints T-shirts, is that he doesn't get special discounts. Like the 3PL company has warehouses all over the fucking world, so they can inexpensively ship containers of everybody's garbage to their different warehouses and save money on last mile delivery. The guy sending the packages from his house in Florida, uh, the t-shirt thing is not someone who has those discounts. So overseas shipping is very expensive. Uh, in a case you have no interest in the merch and I'm just boring you, this is to give, this is just to give you a mind of like, it's not easy money. I want to say that there's a difference between making a, t a shirt that has the laziest, cheapest, shittiest fucking design you can slap together in 30 seconds and throwing it up in Redbubble and just collecting the you know your your commission for that design and sending people to Redbubble. It's a lot of work to actually go through the entire process of you know handling the checkout, handling the payment information, handling the orders. You can't and that's all on you. Not fucking up the list of orders and where they're going to. Getting it done, getting it sent to the you know, getting it sent out and making sure that everyone's happy, issuing refunds, collecting. It's just it's it's not it's not like a turnkey operation. You have to you have to commit to it. Anyways, I need something funny.